guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on this. You guys wanted a neutral brown toned eye um, that you guys could wear every day using the Morphe 350 palette. It's just like an everyday eye. I know I'm going to get comments saying like, oh my god, I look so the same. You guys really wanted this one um, in my last video where I did the Morphe, where I used the Morphe palette, like all of the comments were asking for this. So yeah, that's what I did. It's really, really simple. I think it's really pretty. Um, it flatters all skin tones, all eye shapes, all eye colors, everything. I think it's really gorgeous. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any content. And uh, yeah, let's get started. To start, I'm going to use the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I love this. I used this the other day and I'm just like obsessed with it. I think it is so good. I'm gonna go in and prime my eyes. This is Tarte Shape Tape. Everyone knows this by now. I'm gonna use the Morphe 350 today because everyone has been wanting to see a brown neutral look with this palette, so that's what I'm gonna to do today. To set it, I'm gonna go in here with this shade, and I'm gonna put this all over from lid all the way up to my brow bone. It's such a huge pet peeve of mine when like I'll watch a makeup video and people either don't set their base or they like only set from their crease to their brow bone. Like, ugh, set your lid. Does that make your lid like sticky? So I'm gonna also explain my technique of how I do pretty much all my eye makeup looks because I don't know if you guys have caught on, but they're all pretty much the same technique. It's just a variation of colors and where to put the colors. So the first thing that I always do is start off with a transition shade and I always use a MAC 224 for this. And then I always pick a transition shade first and your transition shade you want so that you can blend out your other colors. The first shade that I'm going to go in with here is this one right here. I also like to layer my transition shades just to give them a little bit of depth. I think that works out pretty well. I mean for some people this shade is literally going to be like their base color but because I'm pale again this could work as a transition shade for me. And a transition shade is just something that's light and normally neutral. Then I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. Now this is a warm toned brown. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. Um, this is a cool toned brown and this is a warm toned brown. See how this one is like much more orange and this one is much more gray. But the more you do it, the more you'll be able to um, pick out what tones are what and how they work with one another. That's a question I get a lot is like, you know, how do you know what colors will work well with one another? Once you look at tones, you can see what their undertones are. So I normally like to do crease first, lid, outer corner, and then I just buff it all together. So for this today, I'm gonna go in here with this shade, Who's Surprised? I've been dying to dip into this. And this I'm really keeping on the inner half. Then I always go back in and just, see how there's like a little line right there? I just like to soften that. I'm gonna go in here with a MAC 217. Mine is dirty because I'm dirty. And then I'm gonna take this brown. I'm gonna work this in, work it honey. I'm gonna work this in the outer corner. I'm gonna mix this shade with this shade. Alright, for my foundation today, I'm going to use this. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup in the shade Nude. My skin is acting out, and I'm just in the mood to use a different foundation than I normally do. So that's why we're going to use this. Okay, this was a, like a little bit lighter than I was going for, so I'm actually going to darken it up a little bit. 
to darken this up, I'm gonna take the Duda Hula by Benefit, and this just darkens me up a little bit. And I'm just gonna put this where I would bronze my face. A little bit better I look a little more like alive now for concealer I'm gonna go in with the NARS creamy concealer I don't want to go overboard with this because I don't want to make myself look too pale and but I already think I'm going overboard so that's good and then to set everything I'm gonna use the RCMA no color powder and I use the Sigma f35 tapered highlighting brush And then I'm gonna really go back in and warm myself up here with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. The Do The Hula, I mean, obviously you guys probably would have guessed this, but the Do The Hula on top of Hula Bronzer is like everything. I don't, it is so pretty. It's like the best thing ever. When everything like feels like it's going to shit, I'm like, just wait. Once my bronzer gets on, I'll be good. And then who remembers this blush, Stereo Rose by MAC? It was like literally like my life. So I brought it out today to play because I want to be a little youthful. Let's move down to the lower lash line. I'm just going to keep it pretty simple today. The brown that we used on the outer corner. And just smudge that below. Just this one shade. For eyeliner on my lower lash line, I'm on my lower waterline, I should say. This is the Urban Decay Glide On in Corrupt. Um, and then for my inner corner, I'm gonna take the white that we initially used and just throw that in there. Like the white that we used to set our um, concealer with in the beginning. Okay, I'm going to do my mascara, throw on some lashes, and then um, put on lips, and I will be right back. So that is it. Um, yeah, it's literally like several, several hours later. Like, it's seriously, like, I think I got done filming this at 9.20 or something. It's now 11.36. So, yeah, I ate some oatmeal. I watched a lot of Charles Gross videos, and I literally spent an hour getting ready. I had like three different outfits on, and I still don't like what I'm wearing, but it's like, I'm in like a crisis with my clothes right now. I just, I don't know what I'm into with my clothes. No, I, it's Jeffree Star mannequin on my lips with a little bit of Marc Jacobs Moon Glow lip gloss over it. So that's what I'm wearing um, on my lips. And then my lashes are Ardell 120s. And that was it. That's the only thing that uh, has changed since I left. Um, yeah, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.